St. Louis gets to start out with favorable field position. They call him the beast. That's Steven Jackson, and he is inside the 10 and a touchdown. start for the Rams. Well, you can see right here, we talked about this young linebacking core. I want you to watch as he comes in the line. Stop right there. They have over-pursued, over-pursued. The slot man comes up and protects. That turns into a touchdown for Steven Jackson. This is a load, man. You stand in a room with this guy. This is a big, big man. And there's a smile on this guy's face when he talks Make up for the feelings of those who passed or have relatives that passed or friends. But we are thinking about you and we appreciate the great positions. And of course, Namdi Asamoah signing minutes after free agency began leaving Oakland. First down carry to Carnell Williams making his Rams debut. All right, Kurt, thank you very much. Steven Jackson out of the game for a second straight play and for a second straight carry, they hand it to Williams. And he has a first down up to the 45. Lewis, heavy Jackson. into the snow huddle. They're attacking this Philadelphia Eagle defense. Nice read and a nice tackle by Jamar Chaney. You know, he played we, so well in three starts down the stretch. On the other lately. side of the 50, that's a painful penalty. Parnell Williams inside the 35 getting carries with Jackson sitting on the, the sideline. We'll get a chance to show it to you in a minute, but right now St. Louis staying with this no huddle philosophy. It's moving the ball pretty good. Williams again. And why not continue to run it? He's inside the 30. Yeah, let me go back, and you're going to see here, this is the same play we saw on the touchdown. If you stop it right here, again, they overflow, overflow, overflow. No secondary help. Right now, the Philadelphia Eagles are not meshing up very well on defense. Part of it may be because St. Louis in this no huddle mentality. Basic, you if have you're to get very defense. You can't get a lot of calls in if you're facing a team in no huddle. Bradford fell down and lost the football. Jaquay Parker, no penalty flags on the field. It is a touchdown for Parker and the Eagles after Daryl Tapp stripped it away from Bradford. Again, it's Cadillac Williams, and let's quickly send it to Josh McDaniel. Cadillac Williams looks strong here in the first quarter. He saw a big, big hit, not only in the running game, but also the receiving game. Arnell Williams inside the 45, down to the 40, we'll call it 43-yard line. will bring up a third down and five. Second down and 18, the first man through. They give it to the fullback, Britt Miller. That's a nice pickup on second down. Up to the 32-yard line, imaginable third down coming up. Well, you just sneak one of these in here every once in a while, one or two times. Uh, you just all of a sudden, they're flowing, thinking the pitch man, and you hand it to the fullback. He'll probably have maybe half a dozen to a dozen carries a year. None bigger than that at defensive pass interference. Williams met at the line of scrimmage. Trevor Laws in there, followed up by Moses Foku. How big Inside a deal, slot, Coach Billy? It's basketball on grass. You got a three way break, right, left, and vertical down the middle. That's tough duty for any DB. First carry for the one time Falcon, Jarius Norwood, trying to come all the way back from a very from serious depth, knee surgery. It caught him off guard. But now 5-10 to play until halftime. Still no Steven Jackson. It's Carnell Williams replacing. Mandola slow to get up. All right, back to the run game. And Williams run out of bounds. First time we've called the name of Casey Matthews today. 
Rookie linebacker, fourth round pick out of Oregon. Of course, he's from a football royalty family. That was an opening round number. playoff game, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. And Carson Palmer completed the first pass of the game to the late Chris and Henry. And missed the entire next season with that knee injury. This is the type of run that's been successful for St. Louis. I want you to watch this. It's just a little counter action. He'll come up, stop. He took just a step and back. That's what's getting these guys to flow and has been working for the Rams. The straight ahead zone stuff, not as good as the quick little counter moves. Didn't need much. And Williams. So now they have Norwood in there. They'll take the handoff. And he's to the 32. Dang. Third down, they'll hand it off. And to the 29 yard line. To be able to with Brady Papinga just breathing down his neck to throw up a touchdown pass like that. That's why you give him the money. Williams on a first down carry, a little pushing and well, that's a going on down. rotation. Huge difference when you've got to look to both sides to chip, turn your line, put in tight end presence. They're going to hand it off third and 15. Close to a first down, but it's one. not enough. I'd sure like to have this guy in the game, Tom. <laughs> this, this is a big play for St. Louis. Fourth and a yard, and on a second turn. Oh, that he needed it. It's a 41 yard penalty, first and goal inside the two. And Williams. Coming back here. Now the hope's still alive. Granted, there's a long way to go, but you fail to convert there, and you're really behind it. Back to the ground. And Cadillac inside the 40, down to the 37 yard Shot line. Short counter step that I talked about earlier. That seems to be the runs that are giving the Eagles the toughest, again, the flow, the flow that that little counter step shows that indicates that they get out of position. That's the type of run that has been hurting the Philadelphia Eagles all day. I imagine we're going to see a bunch more of it. 